years of knowledge that's within this stone. Going to the Giza Pyramid right now, and as we right there, you can feel there's a door just opened up for us. Mitchell Hedges was looking for a connection between Atlantis and the Maya. Isis, the golden light Isis, and she's got this most amazing heart energy of this purest love. And she, she just wants us to merge with her and to come into this goddess light. According to Mayan elders that mm -hmm. come from Lubantun where the skull was found, they say that it's a communicator to the gods. No one really knows who made it and when it was made. So we have two uh, two two fabulous ladies in cars. <laughs> oh, in car, okay. We got the car crew. Take off and start flying. Let's zoom out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the um, okay, okay let's see. Oh, so, oh Phil's coming in. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, fantastic. That's wonderful. Thanks for uh, your patience and, and waiting for us while we uh, figured out the right link and everything. <laughs> not a problem well thank I mean, you yeah thank so everybody much. on the thing so we'll be starting in just a minute so we're going to start with that breathing technique and the breathing technique we'll be using it just be three breaths but what you're going to do is you breathe in through your nose you bring in and bring it down into your belly so filling your belly with air making your diaphragm work filling up as far as you can go biggest breath you can get and I feel it going up towards your heart. And then when you hold it, the pressure will be right at your heart level. And you hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. And then as you breathe out through your mouth, then you feel the energy. It's like going out your crown chakra. So when you breathe in, think about it. As you breathe in through your nose, feel it coming in your crown chakra. It's like you're connecting to the creator and the sending his the breath and love and light right into your crown with your breath. And as you bring it out, you're breathing it back out your crown chakra right into the, the uh, nostrils or the heart of the creator. So we're sharing breaths with the creator in this exercise. And we'll just do three breaths that way. So... If you want to get yourself comfortable and then start the slow deep breath through your through your nostrils breathing in and then holding it then breathing out through your mouth Out your crown, hold it for a count of 10 to 15. And breathing in again through your crown, feel the energy coming down into your belly, into your diaphragm, deep in your stomach. And hold it. And then breathing out. One more breath. 
Now I connect all the angels, archangels, and all the guides and masters that want to be with us, be with us now. We ask for your help and guidance. We ask for the Galactic Light Council to be with us, all those beings working with us on this to bring the light into the earth. I connect now the other 12 skulls. I connect them now. Now, as you concentrate on your third eye, we're looking up into the heavens with your third eye, bringing this beautiful light that you see coming down from the heavens, this beautiful diamond light coming down. Bring it right down through your crown chakra, through your body, send it into the earth. See it coming through the top of the skull, through the skull into the earth, sending it deep, deep down to the center of the earth touching the heart of the mother. And the mother has so much tremendous love for all of us. And that love you can feel as it starts coming back up, 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 up through your feet, into your heart, filling your heart with that love from the father and the mother, coming into the skull and the two energies coming together, feel them expanding, expanding. Oh, the expansion, you bring the energy, you can feel it from the skull coming right into your heart, feeling your heart with that love and light from the father and the mother greater. Put it all through you. And now there's a white light of energy around all of us, bringing us into the circle, our circle of light. Just feel that light starting to really expand and expand out from the skull, from all of us, with this big ball of energy going up into the sky, into the heavens. And with our minds and our hearts, we're sending that love around the earth, sending our love around the earth. We feel the joy the peace, the love, the healing coming out all over. And in this time, it is ready. Now we're going to go together and put your minds. We're coming, going to the Giza Pyramid right now. And we'll be right at the base of the Giza Pyramid. Feel us. We're going there now. As we right there, you can feel there's a door just opened up for us. And it's taking away right to the king's chambers. So we're taking crystal and we're going up into the king's chambers. putting the crystal on this little altar right on the side. And as we're standing there, feel the energy is starting to connect and feel the lights and the joy coming through, coming through top of the crystal pyramid, bringing it down. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it into all the ley lines that go under every crystal and every, to every pyramid in the earth. So as it comes down, it'll go to the Bosnia pyramids. It'll go to everyone, the ones that are buried in the ground, the ones that are under the sea. Feel the energy going, and you can guide it and feel it and flow with it. Connect there's, all in that door. There's that um, that we went into. There's um, be, there's this all these these the light doors. I saw it before you even said it, and when we went into it, there's all of these terrestrial beings that have been instrumental like syrians and 
Arcturians that have been instrumental in Earth's um, energy and energetic freedom and construction of sacred monuments, and they're here. And then all of a sudden, Isis, the golden light Isis, shows up right in the middle. And she's got this most amazing heart energy of this purest love. And she she just wants us to merge with her and to come into this goddess light and to to just really connect to it. Uh, her, and her heart will open up. It's this freedom that is coming in. Um, mm. Her white light eyes become our white light eyes, our crown chakras just expand, our heart centers completely expand as we are connecting to her. And uh, and the holders of the pharaohs of light, the, of the highest order of light are here as well from the ancient times. And these are also deities of um, terrestrial races, high starlight consciousness masters of light in the universe that came to earth in the beginnings and they're all here around with us right now so what is happening is enormous and so we're merging with all of them at this moment it is just unbelievable this energy um and I just wanted, before you carried on there, I just wanted us to really connect with all of this because they were wanting us to merge and expand this. And then and then uh, now to continue on what you were doing there, Bill, with the sending it out everywhere. Okay, it will just continue sending it. You can feel it going through all the grid lines mm -hmm. underneath every one of the pyramids and lighting up that energy. And it connects to the pyramids all over the earth and all over the higher dimensions, and they're all connecting together. It's a time of bringing the ancient energy and light back into the planet, raising that consciousness. Mm -hmm. It is time. And as we do that, we're connecting to the, there's 14 crystal balls from Atlantis or Lemuria, and they're with us too. And we're bringing those into connection and online, go online now. And then as an integral part of it, there's these great big granite spheres that have been found all over Costa Rica, but they're all over the world. And they connect with this grid line also. So feel that energy and take it and um, go ahead, David, and follow through right now. Um, yeah, there, there's hidden hidden fields in these balls uh, they're coming they're activating them we're activating them and um it's this huge light that has been created that we're expanding into so i'm gonna merge my third eye with all of these amazing beings inside the giza pyramid and i'm just going to tune in to these balls and what they're tuning into in this the uh, they have codes um, they have light, like they have the star, they have old light language on them. Um, stargates, stargates, some of them are portals. Um, and so, what are we doing with them? Greetings. An Atlantean um, aspect is coming through. An Octurian, an Octurian from Atlantis who is involved with this, the pyramids and these spheres. You know, he's connecting heart energy, his beautiful vibration of high purity. I am going to assist you to release the dark network, the dark grids on the planet we are going to the angel of peace and the kingdoms of heaven remove the density grids the spheres of light have sacred star energy within them and they will expand to separate out 
the density grid from the earth chakra system so it is to connect to the star energies within the spheres and the star races and the fields of peace creativity abundance healing but there's more angelic light is coming in at the highest values to separate with the angelic swords that you have it is to feel the swords heavenly swords of the angelic teams to feel it in your hand as earth angelics in human form and to use with the spheres and the swords to separate out the ley lines of density to cut them to cut them to cut them and separate them from the earth chakras with a swipe from heaven's love all agree all agree to release mm -hmm. all agree they are the races of Atlantis that are here masters of light connecting through you with you the spheres and the skulls and the heavenly and the realms of light and as you sit with us as we are one as you're connecting to the minds of all that is of liberation, peace, you are expanding your consciousness and you're creating an awareness to how every manipulation, every lie, everything that has tried to dim the light as a consciousness is stored in these density grids to create suffering and you're releasing it and you are healing the words the vibrations and the lower vibrations of consciousness to bring it into the light throughout the grids on earth and the chakras of heavens then shine brightly and the spheres and the skulls and the heavenly rays shine brightly to heal and to transmute to bring the consciousness back to oneness mm -hmm. every thought of destruction and in every battle holds these grids to the earth. And so these vibrations are going to be released. The vibrations of hate, of thought forms, as the warrior races on his horse with his sword drawn out high to take life. He's thinking of blood and ending life. And this is a trauma that weighs down on the grids of these density grids as they are being lifted up you're healing and releasing these thoughts of these mm -hmm. vibrations of all who have battled on this great planet including the dark fleets and the thoughts and the rage of defending Earth. 
after the fall of Atlantis. Purifying out all thoughts from the grids that are of haste, anger, lust, envy, hate, destruction, conquering this consciousness, healing it off of the grids of the density so it can be severed completely from the chakras and lifted out of the planet like a net that has no worth that has no value in this reality any longer, appealing it away and replacing it with higher consciousness, heavenly light, unity, peace. Bill, are you um, picking up on anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm right with you. Yeah, that's, it's, it's what's so happening. So am I. Yeah. That's, that's huge. Huge. Yeah. No. And, this is the day in the timing with the new moon and the different planetary alignments and changes. We're making the, it's time to make the step into this, this uh, new life, new world, the world of that we're creating the ascension into peace and love and light and joy. That's all for us and the world and our families. It's time for it now. Bill, you have some keys or something, Phil. What is it that you're working on? Phil, you're muted right now. I'm muted now? Mm -hmm. uh, no, Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil. Oh, Phil. Oh. My, my crystal sort of being has got keys. That's what she was telling me. Because I was seeing the I was seeing it in the remote view. She can she can connect where it needs to be. Is she, she can actually is she gonna open up like all these spheres and stuff like that? Is that what she's gonna yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. She could she could join it. She could actually join into it because she's the crystal sort of thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wondered what she was trying to tell me because she speaks too fast. So you wanna <laughs> go you wanna go and, and guide and open that up for her while this is going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is this is really good as she's doing it now there's like these like um it they're sucking up after the separation now so they're they're using like a vortex of light and they're just sucking up density through the uh they're cleansing it through moon energy and then they're bringing it into the sun so it's like a uh they're using the moon and maybe this is why we're doing this because that we need the full moon energy to kind of cleanse as it goes into the sun and gets transmuted. Oh, now it's going to be funny. Okay. Okay. Wow. This definitely, this is lift, lifting the vibrations of the planet up significantly. Mm-hmm. I, I can actually see the grids are changing. Mm. It's in perfect timing. This is the time for it. We've been uh, prepared for this for many, many, many lives. It's the, the difference where we had the struggle in Atlantis and Lemuria and the destruction of that. And now it's up to us to learn from our mistakes and bring in that light, the life and the power back into the earth, but into us, taking back our position as creator gods here on earth. And as we do that, all the stuff that's been a, a block to us and our what we are and who we are is 
being brought into the light and we can see it dissolve in front of us and feel the power coming back and the joy and it's spreading to all the greater beings, the God beings on earth, the ones that with the soul spirit connection as we expand this now. Take back the power and go in through the freedom and joy and peace. We, um, we want to connect with us. Um, the Atlantean ancestors, those the Lemurian ancestors, those that have all worked so hard to assist the timeline of the ascension, Yeshua, the Essene, all of the families of ancient Egypt, Atlantis, Lemuria, all who have been of the divine order of light, who have worked so hard with the crystalline grids, the inner kingdoms of earth that are still there, that are going to be ascending, the Lemurians, the Agarthans, the Alban kingdoms, all of the inner earth realities of light, everything that's going to be ascending now, everything that has worked so hard for this moment, because they want to share in this moment, because many of them are from past timelines. Many of them want to see the hope. They want to see the vision, including Christ himself, who is tuning in to end times. He's tuning in to what is causing the ascension, and he's tuning in to us. He's tuning in into this moment. He's tuning into the ancients in of all the timelines as well, who we are connecting with now. And as all are tuning in, it is to witness some of the things that have of great light in the times of what people call apocalyptic or end times that what creates heaven on earth and it is those that bring in and work as the creator does on the earth that works as father mother god does in the heavenly kingdoms but brings it in to the light to the people on the planet and this is what creates the heaven on earth. And this is all who are tuning in. And so we have heavenly kingdoms and angels singing and rejoicing in the light right now that has been created. And there is these golden Christed crown light coming over everybody's crown chakras across the planet now. Uh, it is the Christ of Yeshua. Yeshua is bringing in his crown chakras to gift to humanity at this point, for he is facilitating for the what is everybody to become part of the ascended Christ consciousness light. And so as we are connecting to Christ's crown chakra and these masters of light, all of the ancestors, just take a moment to feel the great love for the moment of the ascension and the moment that all are participating in now and connecting with us. It's entering into the purity consciousness, this new consciousness. Mm -hmm. And with that, with the light energy going all around, it's going through each one of us and all. And you can feel the last of any of the 
the old negativity that we've acquired through lifetimes in this lifetime, just being like in the light, being dissolved with the light. And you can just feel it falling away from us and feel the pure, a portal or a pure, pure vessel of this light in as each one of us become that vessel of light and love. So um, all of the um, Lumerian and Atlantean um, priestesses and priests of the holy families, the Rose, Order of the Rose, and the Families of Light are also coming and merging. And as we merge in this purity, and this purity grid forms as the new gr grid systems within us, we send them to every unawakened, every awakened heart, every being to purify as we are being purified. We purify all in all time, dimensions, realities, and parallels. So all receive the new grids and the purity and the connection, the love and unity of the heart of I am. You have had so many lifetimes serving the light in so many of these aspects that you've been that you're connecting to now an illumination of light across all time on this planet just bring in this golden heart to all on earth and connected frequency of illumination. An incredible meditation. So much more than a meditation. It's an, an event. This is like a, in a historical event. Dignifying the greatest shift you know we have all worked so hard to experience and participate liberate the consciousness throughout all these times feel that it's um complete what we've done it's just incredible much blessings to all of us and the great love too. So I'm going to have us uh, come out of the King's Chambers sending love and light to all that have been with us and helped us as we come out. Out we can see the doors shutting again and we're coming back to our circle of light. Now we're going to bring us back on the count of five. One, just feel the energy flowing back into your body. Two, just let it flow through you, out your fingertips and toes as you're coming up. Three, just think of all 
we've been through together on this and the love and the light. Four almost back. And now five has been counted. Whenever you're ready, you can come back into full consciousness. Connection between the other 12 skulls open now. And blessings and thank you for all those divine ones that have been with us and helped us and guided us through this. I, and our great love and joy to all of us and all of you. God's love. That was um, that was absolutely incredible. That was, that was, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> the timing, I've just felt the timing today was something else, and it was just started to go. And it, wow, that was yeah. really amazing. Can you feel the energy, Amy? You feel that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I felt it. There's not got tingles all over as I'm driving. I gotta keep paying attention to the road because I'm trying to get in it. But it was it was strong. It was really good. Thank you. Oh wow, that's great! Thank you. Thank you. I'm still thing tingling <laughs> in my fingers. <laughs> I I had my skull in my hands and it was throbbing like hell. <laughs> yeah. Still working. You're still working. You're not. You're still completing the connection points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you doing, Frankie? Well, you're not kidding. When you guys go on mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm, like, so, like, overjoyed. It's, I just, so much, um, uh, it's just, it's, it is a dream come true, you know? <laughs> it's, like, beautiful. I, I, words can't even describe it. It's, uh. Thank you. It's just so full of gratitude. That's all. I'm just like humbled with so much love and gratitude for well, everybody. It, yeah, everything has a purpose. Thank you. Nora, are you there? Yes. <laughs> um, just barely here. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to get grounded. <clears throat> it's, it's just and um the ancient ones and in in are transmitting the signals through the codes in the spheres in and out they are traversing they are telepathically communicating as they spin in mathematical equations surrounding the planetary consciousness on all lunar activities and the Kodana. Shiyu, go, kate, shiyu, you who are inside, nieta, can see the codes, can see the equations, ninenaka. We are waiting for your transmission also. This is the oneness. This is the multi-dimensions beyond stellar dimensions that have been awaiting this moment. Your antennas are up now. Thank you. This is the consciousness is of blending into oneness. And so that tweaking the right brain and intricate equations from their timelines are starting to be activated in their crystals of the body. That's why many crystal seedlings of crystal consciousness beings are moving about. Yes, that is correct. Yes. That, that That's why I'm just having a bit of a hard time to try to get back in my body, get grounded here. So thank you yeah. for the, I'm just, th I'm just thanking them for the message. Uh, thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Nora. It's, uh, you know, it, the group was perfect and the light 
Yeah, that was, and all those beings that have been with us are so, uh, there's there's no words, so thank you. Joyous. Joyous, yeah. They are joyous. So. We're finally getting it done. Well, we're, everything's on the right time, yes, at the right place. That's exactly right. We're getting yep. it done. Oh. We're leaving. <laughs> 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 Does, does anyone have anything else to add that they they felt that what needs to come through? I, I was going to suggest that I showed David some symbols before. Is it worth his share screen and showing this? It was an unveil of, of the Galactics. And when I saw it and connected, I saw a 40 foot Lemurian temple being built. What do mm -hmm. you think, Dave? Is it worth showing or not? He's talking about, uh, so it's quite fascinating. So in the tribes of Lumiere and Atlantis, they had these crests, these seals that they use. And, and Phil didn't even know that I, and then I knew that and I was talking about it. And then Phil's eyes light up and he says, there's this lady that's part of my healing circle that spent seven years to draw the seals of the families. And I'm like, get out of town. And uh, oh. he's got a video of it. So it, it but you'd, you'd have to make him like a, probably a co-host or something to be. No, I, think I can share screen. Can you share the screen? No, I can't. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm barely able to get people on it. So yeah, if you can tell me how to do it, I'd that'd be wonderful. Yeah. On the right, <laughs> uh, where you click on participants. Okay. On the, on the right hand side of the screen, it will say participants seven, and then if you scroll down to fill, there's little three little dots on the right hand side of okay. Phil's name, and when you click on it, or wait, or when you uh. Okay, I'm on participants and scroll down to Phil. I see Phil. And then if you click, yeah, click on his I dots. Three, I don't see three dots. All I see is a camera, and so I'm on a I'm on an iPhone. I'm not. Oh, on a so may, maybe. How do you do it on an iPhone? Uh, maybe if you press on him, you can make him a co-host or something. Let me try it. Uh, wait a second. Uh, uh, may, uh, mute, stop video, chat, split, st oh, spotlight for everyone. So maybe that's it, huh? Should I push that? Spotlight for everyone? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm on uh, Phil. I'm on Phil. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. I did it. What happened? Oh, now <laughs> Phil. You got me? <laughs> now, now Phil's uh, the main uh, show of attraction. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Is it a meeting settings, like the three dots on the bottom right on the phone, and then meeting settings, and then it has uh, uh, oh, always show meeting control, touch up, appearance. At the bottom. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe it doesn't stop. Wait. Oh, no. Mute all. So. Mute all. So, yeah, I, that's not it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, share. Um, hey, you know, yeah. like, is there uh, any? Yeah, it's right there. It's there. You can share. Like I, I they hit the hit the icon button on the bottom. It says share right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It says it's disabled. It says tap no. the name of the participant who's going to be co-host and tap make co-host. So I think if you yeah. if you tap fill. Uh, okay. I tapped him. Phil. Yeah. If you tap him, does it? If there's something come up to say, make co-hosts or anything? It just says mute, stop video, chat, or remove spotlight. Okay. Well, Phil, you, you want to take me off big screen? Yeah. <laughs> okay. If Phil, if Phil sends me the link to that. I can add it into the end of the video. Why don't you explain it though a little bit more, like like um, this lady and then how she got there. Well, what it is, we went we went to the uh, it was a, a a singing bowl meditation, and we went to the uh, star disc in Matlock, and it's uh, a person who's got orange eyes, seriously orange eyes. He looks he's not human. I'm sure you not. And he channeled from the beings there, and he built this cosmos sort of ring and we all did the meditation it was 33 of us which was strange but yeah 
and she unveiled this channeled uh, galactic, it's all the galactic symbols, there's about 10 or 15 of them, and uh, it took her eight years to draw, eight years to channel all this information, it wasn't done overnight. Three, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is fifteen. It's fifteen of them, so there's two mm. extra ones. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, the two that we're not told about. <laughs> <laughs> uh and she unveiled it and she described it and everything. And as I as with the meditation started, I started seeing the uh, space uh, ships appearing from portals above our heads. So it's a very sacred place. And then all of a sudden, a 40 foot crystal grew from the ground. And it was like uh, a Lemurian temple, a Lemuria temple grew around me. Which is uh, one other person saw some of it, by the way. It wasn't just me. It's a... And then uh, I had a blessing off uh, a Lemurian night priestess. That's okay. Shame puts that. Yeah, I'll I'll send you that though. Yeah, I'll, I'll add it in for sure. It's fascinating. Yeah, everything's fascinating. I mean, yeah, I don't know when we do these things, David. You never know what's going to happen, and it just kind of it it every time you think this is going to be. Well, what was the, hilarious is you say like I was already in that door by the time that you said there's a door like. Because you're guiding it, right? And then, uh, so like you're saying, we're in Giza, and then I see this big door with white light opening up in the pyramid, and I start going through it. And then you're saying there's a door, and then it was, but I'm just exploring. I'm like, what's going on in here, right? And it was so, <laughs> it was so fascinating because immediately I seen the Syrian, and I, I connected to the Syrian, and uh, and then he was showing me how there's all of these reflections of these ancients that are here i'm looking around it's almost like like mirrors of light like um from the past and then when i'm tuning into them i'm seeing the beans and i'm like wow this is and then all of a sudden in the middle like this golden light of isis comes in and she just like her heart just goes oh and I, that's when I like I had to speak out after that, like because you were continuing on. I'm like, oh, we got to do something. There's something big going down here, and and uh, I and, felt that part strong too. I I was just yeah. head to toe like crazy. Yeah, it was so amazing. Yeah, I felt the same. Yeah, it's so incredible. Yeah. Yeah, the crystalline. <laughs> Consciousness, but the purity consciousness is is so the highest the highest that we can achieve right now. Feel. And then and that's there was the skull that came in. The skull came in and started going bling 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 with all these lights it was connecting to, and I'm tuning in, and it's like Archangel Michael, all of these crystalline warriors came in with these swords of heaven, and they just started coming in with us, and like and then we we're merging with these beings. With these heavenly swords to cut out the density grids, it was. I and didn't. I didn't get to say oh, that yeah. with the skull and that, but the skull was bringing, connecting all of these highlights, beans coming in to remove the density, which was really fascinating. Yeah, then, yeah I felt that part for sure. That that with the swords and uh, I was doing I, some coding. I I don't know what it was, but I was doing some coding. Um, like unlocking even, you know, so many different edo codes, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just felt like it was like, wow, this is so purposeful and powerful right now. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. is, it is, yeah. it is a, per it was a perfect um, blend of energy too with all of us, I feel. Oh, for sure. Did did. Yeah. It was the right, right energy. It was, it, it was, was made that way for sure. Yeah, you can it just, was. So Nora, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It just I had to get up and turn the lights on because it's getting dark here. <laughs> so was, the whole the whole place is pretty dark behind me. <laughs> I'm still here though. Yeah. So we sure is it's wonderful to have you and everyone else join us tonight. It was it was really perfect. Yes. Yeah, it was great. It was a wonderful, wonderful journey to light and adventure into the realms and inside. That uh, Egypt, uh, Zeptepi, and all those little beings, and uh, 
than you know dashing off into the multi dimensions and these other spheres that were spinning equations. It was it was quite the ride tonight. <laughs> And I, I have to say, I was really enthused um, when um, I saw this um, uh, crystalline, almost like a spider web, but liquid, which actually makes quite uh, a lot of sense because the whole earth is oceans. Um, but it was like liquid, but it was like a net, you know, like a a fish fish net but it was around the planet and that was the last of the inner lining of all the layers of layers of layers of programs of of all these things that were just you know like almost like tar <laughs> by the layers and layers and layers it was all off and it was just down to the very originating crystalline membrane around uh, Gaia and so it was interesting to see the, the earth turning and then this shimmer kind of caught my eye and I was like, what the, it's like, it's, it's her membranes coming off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just going to come right off. So it'll be a whole new crystalline vibration, crystalline consciousness. Yeah. Was, I thought, well, that, that works. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like you know the inside of the tennis ball after you get it or not tennis ball but baseball or whatever they like layers and layers and layers and webs and webs of tar and dark and da da da, da. those would be all of the multiplicities of timelines and it, and then at the very end you just have the the actual crystal star planet yeah and i could see it just falling away just yeah like falling away yeah so thank you for the for the absolute unbelievable broadcast and and the and the little and the mission that we all went on it was absolutely wonderful thank you the beautiful thank you because you're we're all working together and it's that's the joy yeah, that's the joy so absolutely and it's fun too isn't it making it <laughs> Yeah, well, I gotta. I'm fully charged now, guys. I'm telling you, uh, I just need a, a, a little bit of a jump, and I think I can fly. <laughs> I, I can still feel my heart chakra pounding in my chest. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. The moment when you said go to the door, I saw this light. And somehow my consciousness went to the light, and I can could see the whole earth. And all I could oh. think was, uh, I will shine my light on the, you all, and I radiate my love to you all. And please wake mm -hmm. up now. That's all. That was all in my mind that moment, and I couldn't. Uh, well, I repeated it over and over and over. Uh, it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And what it is is each one of us are a, a part of the whole. And you know, if, if one is not working on this, one piece is missing. But each one of us brings something different to the table that makes the whole thing, you know, as work strong. And you know, one person is strong, but with all of us together, it becomes a magnitude of force that mm -hmm. for good in the world. So it's blessing and it's such a joy today. That's yes. Right. So I like uh, putting these and making them for other people to participate in because then I guess like if they're watching this replay, it gives them this ability to add in all their codes and their pieces and everything mm -hmm. on top of it. It really anchors it even, even that much greater. So um such an honor to have these events and work with you, Bill and Catherine. We're very hey, well, here. Yeah, I, I appreciate yeah you so much and what you do for the world and all of you. So it's uh, but it's it's the thing by we're doing it because we love it and it's fun, and by helping others, it's helping us. You know, it's just it's our our purpose and finding your purpose is a is the greatest joy there is I've, on earth. If you're here, hey. Do your purpose. It's, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 
so beautiful. Yeah. About four years ago, Source connected to me, and it was one of the most that unbelievable moments in my life. And he it told me that we are a spider's web on Earth. We are all in different areas to light Earth up. And that's 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 it was so magical. I just wanted to say Very. add that to the very yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Phil. I see it as a crystal grid around the earth and each point is a different person shining his light on the earth. Exactly. Yeah. So. yeah. That's right. Well said. Yeah, that's why it's called isn't that why it's called the star connection? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really up in the sky. <laughs> that's above oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to bring in Kath has been reading this book on Atlantis and it's uh, just I don't know if you want to if uh, I just want to put it out there because it's a good one for uh, well I, I sent the uh, covers to David so David would see them but um, a few days ago Bill was going through um, some of uh, Anna's um, who was the she found the crystal skull, you know, the Mitchell Hedges crystal skull. And we I found this book. I'm gonna put it up here so you can kind of see it. It's just a booklet. It's not, it's a manuscript. It wasn't ever really published or anything, but it is a download from this woman. It's called the Atlantean Crystal Ball. And we had just gone down to some caves in southern Indiana. And I for some reason I threw this into my bag and I thought, well, I'll just, you know, peruse it, check it out. Well, anyway, I read it, you know, word for word. And at the same time, I also had gotten this book. If any of you can order it from Amazon, and I highly recommend since we're getting a lot of downloads and a lot of information about Atlantis, we get, as David knows, we've been doing some private work with David and we keep going to Atlantis and, and getting a lot of information from, um, guides etc and about the um the atlantean experience but there was a couple of things in here that i just wanted to bring out tonight that when atlantis was tw at the end you know everyone talks about the destruction of atlantis and why did it happen and what was leading up to it at that time there was a very tyrannical dictator who ran all of atlantis it was a very masculine continent the people lived in fear they were locked down because of a virus that was very similar to the covid they did not know how to take care of the virus they he developed they developed a vaccine that was mandated that everyone on atlantis get this vaccine it was also um, derivative of animals and from that the children that they had the babies that were born were born with maybe fins or horses legs or, you know, so this, you know, all the Greek myths where we have the half man, half horse, half goat, half man, cat, the cat people, all of that was actually from Atlantis, from this vaccine that was given to this, to the, all the people at that time. Lemuria at that time was, you know, another continent, obviously. And Lemuria, they, they were not as technologically advanced as Atlantis, but they had an immune system to beat all. They would never got sick. I mean, they still had, you know, you could break a bone or something like that, but they never had colds or flus or viruses or anything. They didn't get sick, but they also had these red crystals that the priestesses knew how to cure people and to keep them highly immune from any kind of anything. So the Atlantean law, uh, dictator, I'm going to say dictator, um, captured one of these lady uh, priestesses and did everything he could. He tortured her, everything to get her to break, to tell how it was that she used these red crystals in order to, to stay healthy and to, for her people to be healthy. The Atlanteans, what they did was they literally blew up Lemuria using weather. They learned to control the weather. They created earthquakes. 
They created tsunamis and a huge wave that finally was the tsunami that brought the whole continent down and drowned everybody. That was what happened with Lemuria, but it was it, it was started by Atlantis. There wasn't a really a war that went on, but but the Atlanteans did sink it, Lemuria. That's what was brought out in this particular this book and in this other book that about the um, Atlantean crystal ball. And um, wow. I, but I think it's very interesting the parallels that they were brought that's brought out in this book. I highly recommend you all ordering it from Amazon. It's not that expensive. And I, I just want to bring out this one thing that what is important for us to know because we are at that same place. We are the Atlanteans, we are the Lemurians. The Atlanteans, as the people in Atlantis, they did not. As Bill always says, they did not stand up for what they were they could do. They did not come out of the stands. They did not speak their voice, which is what we're learning to do now, is to speak our voice and to do what exactly what we're doing, to spread the light and the love and to change things. But anyway, what is important for us to know now, and I'm going to read this to you because it's just a couple of paragraphs. This information is important for us to know. Everything that's in this book is important for us to know because we are about to create a massive shift in this world now in 2023. We are so close to achieving the next level that we have been striving for. Too much is hindering upon our development. The breakthroughs that we will make through in the next few generations because of what we are changing now will have an unparalleled impact on our society to where we will wonder how we ever lived before we understood ourselves in this new way. The breakthrough that we are making is that we are beginning to open our minds, see ourselves clearly and understand that we are not just simply products of an imagined system around us and that earth and that earth, each person uh -oh. is on the basis of another person's opinion of us. Humans are starting to understand that we have deep origins deep opinions and deep reasons for being here. And there's a need to understand this now. And the biggest thing that we need to understand now is love. Yeah, but what we did tonight put us way big things. So it's, it's the, thing is, things. Yeah, the thing is, is a lot of the things are happening to us now, but the difference is we have the knowledge to make different decisions. Right. And it's all about making decisions to move into the light as we're doing and uh, much blessings for us all coming together tonight and connecting because there's much joy in the higher planes for our being the, the boots on the ground here doing the work so yeah we got big boots yeah. <laughs> well so, we're using your consciousness this time instead of the technology it's uh much more effective with uh, right. our, 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 from our heart right Exactly. Yeah. It's all from the heart, from the love. Yep. But, so, Bill, I wanted to me mention, I was uh, at the healing center on Tuesday and I was copying some shaman, a shamanic healer, symbols with me hands, and a new light language came out. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm doing it, a new light light, I'm opening you, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that that's helped tonight and also the other thing that we did. So that was part of the reason why I had to learn it. To actually do this light language light language healing, I think it was. Yeah. It's amazing when it's amazing when you think you know everything but you know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> what else comes up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we gotta just have fun and go forward. That's what it's all about. So yep. yeah, mm -hmm. it uh you know didn't mean to put that as a, a little bit of a, a negative on it because we're doing the work, we're right there, we made the changes and but uh it just it's a matter of being aware so we don't make mistakes again and that's where it's so important mm -hmm. so thank you. thank you all and thank enjoy you. the adventure all right have a good night everybody you good too night. thank you good night everyone thank you all. bye now bye bye, bye. bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.